everybody, it's Rizzly. We're playing Super Auto Pets. Let's give it a go. It's the new weekly. I have not seen, but I'm going to look at it immediately. Because I do know, I saw that this little pink guy was in there and I've not used or seen a fairy, I think, before. At least I don't remember it. But this is apparently a toy-based pack. So I assume there's going to be a lot of toy uh, questing beasts. Choose one level one king toy. Is that something that you get from one of the new mini missions that they added to the game where there's just like a, like a sequence of events that you have to do? If you have a toy game too. Well, that seems like it would make sense, sadly. How many cure ones are giving me tools? Like that's that's the real question here. And I'm just thinking it's not enough. I enjoy the concept of the apples. Bald beavers, hooting computers, cruising astronauts. This sounds like chill. Good job. Bald beavers, naked mole rats in the wild cutting down trees. That's the image. Frogs, you give toys? Choose one witch toy that breaks after two turns. On sell. I was going to say buying three of those seems like a question mark, but whatever. The stats are decent. That seems like a good dude. And I always appreciate the Marba set because he has the stats. Negative one you. An apple. You replaced my other apple. Is that how that, that always is meant to work like that? It's for free. You can have it. Why? For no real reason. Because all of you are getting sold quite eventually. In fact, eventually might just be literally tomorrow. So freaking catch your breath, guys. It might be your last time out. Okay. A mouse was not the guy I was thinking he was gonna have to one for one for. I was thinking you're more of like a twosers. Wait, you you have like two entire damage. This is also new. Choose one level one adventure toy. Like, I've also never seen this before. So surely you've come from, I assume, the unicorn pack. But again, you are a mystery. And you get one now. Magic carpet, magic lamp. Oh, what? I guess that was a Sphinx in the Aladdin movie. I didn't really think about that. Friend summoned, gain plus one attack. Friendly level up, give it plus two plus two. I don't know how many times this is gonna happen. He has five health though, so mmm. I'd sell this too. Well, let me just get all the money real quick. Like he wasn't even like leveled or anything. And then, oh, oh my god, what is even happening there? Summon one level two pet from your current tier is a one one. Only because it's an option. Only because it's physically possible and only him because he's got the stats, okay? Only because of like one valid reason when I keep any of these dudes. But it's only one valid reason. I need at least 16 to feel proud about it. Come on, birds. Won't even fight in the war. Come on, you two birds. This is a level, but I need to wait until tomorrow. So instead we're gonna waste time. I forgot. Yeah, you can have that. Well. It dawns upon me, because I always think of summon friends as being people that you summon in battle. Level up, game plus two now, and one gold next turn. Only when you level up? I mean, sure. Can't sell you, because I'm doing this thing, so I guess it's this pig. He has slightly better stats, question mark? Question mark? Maybe? It's just stats and toys, and this thing actually functions, so we're not doing that right now. But that means that everyone who I buy would also get plus one attack. And that is actually more vital than I think this whole leveling thing we're doing right now, given I haven't leveled anybody. But just you wait, enemy team. I've been biding my time for a sudden explosion in power, okay? It's never been now. It's only been just now. Ta-ta. Now he's a 5-5, five five, and that's like something. Poppy friendly toy ability at level one until end of battle. What are the chances the enemy's doing cool stuff? You can level. And now, you would sell for a tier three as a, you know, whatever, just do it. Okay. Friendly toy broke, resummon the toy, but its level can be maxed. Okay, they made that more complicated because it was too strong. Not that I ever used this scroll before, but other people were using it and it was too strong. I don't want this toy to be the one that's being kept around, but I guess I'm doing the squirrel thing now. Yeah, you guys go together. Mm. It's unfortunate that you're all half level. This guy's got stat. You know what? Which thing? Instead of this guy's thing, let's do this. Start a battle, make one random perkless enemy weak. Like, okay then. Give the frontmost dude one mana. That's a piece of crap. Give one random friend plus one experience. And that's a whole lot of stuff you got going on. I guess one week, and then we're gonna do the chameleon. Bit of curiosity. And then two dudes are gonna level, so you're like, now that these guys are gonna level, I bet you wish you had that last toy. And I'm like, no. 
I played with that toy for all of one hour. That's the maximum a kid can be interested in one thing at once, I think. And I am one with the times. Did we steal his oven mitt? I don't think that happened. You didn't take the toy? Copy friendly toy ability at level 1 until end of battle? What does that mean? Break abilities trigger on faint instead. Okay, like, whatever. Because it doesn't trigger. We need toys who do things. I see the problem. Oh, crap. Eh, whatever. <laughs> friendly level. You know what? A bunch of people are gonna level. Sure, have this. Now look how strong he is. I don't even want this guy. You're level 4? Summon one random level 1 nostalgic toy. That guy's nostalgic. Ah, uh, there's so many options in life. Look at all these stats I don't want to get rid of, though. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I was waiting for you to level. You're tier 2, you're tier 1, but you're the most stated guy in town. Okay, goodbye. This is also a toy. One that does things. Break, give the front most friend. Ah, that's useful. That's the first thing that could be of use. You're not necessary, and then I could replace it with a different toy. Follow a treasure map. Okay, new problem. Uh, there's too many toys, and I can't have any of them. You've never spread behind five health. Adjustments. Here we go. And then, do I need you? No, I'm doing this melon thing. But if we survive until we get the late game units, and we get the one toy that's actually amazing, our squirrel will be doing stuff. It's a weak baby. Survival is part of the keyword there, uh, which is the unfortunate section because that one's like a bit more difficult than just simply dying, I suppose. Yes? Okay. The idea of a griffin feels like it should be more powerful than you are. Uh, maybe I should actually just buy good tools. Good tools could also be a called a leveling version of a toy. I don't know what a better version of this could be. Level 3, just simply give me a coconut. My whole team will have coconuts. It'll be hilarious. Good for the lols game. Come on now, RNG Jesus. That was some health. Okay. It only took to turn 7. But we finally got something going now. Now you have a melon and boom, now it's back. And now this is like a thing and it's like, whoa. And it could be like another melon. What if it was more melons? I could become like a sniper and all that jazz, but meh. Another one. Okay, so like this guy, what's a wondrous toy? And you're like, ah, well now I really want to get the wondrous toy. I could change one of you guys to be different. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna do this today because I'm just curious. Give the two front people. Hmm, okay then. I don't want either of you guys. So, he ate that? You ate my toy? Why? Is that how that functions? The frontmost pet melon, yeah. Oh! I thought he copied the enemies thing. Why did I think that? So you're gonna give it to the people behind you? No, just the first guy. But it's, it is level two, so you lied. Because it's supposed to be level two. Unless it only is if you're level two, then like it's like whatever. So... That guy's gonna level for no like particular reason. This is gonna break tomorrow. So we have to do like this. No. You know what? Let's give the people who might stick around. This is bad ordering. Uh, do it like this. No, you can't be up front. Here it is. This looks dumb. Have a pie. I could murder. Hmm, true, true, true. You're gonna get sold. I probably should have put the marmoset because he's getting even more- Wait, I didn't even look. What was that thing? It was a Pokemon in the stage 3 section of the shop right there. Delicious. He has seven damage. I think he's worthy of getting these things. Perfect kills. Negative perfect kills. He didn't get to put his mail on anyone because everyone was dead. Did they shoot me? No, I think I just lost the opportunity. I forgot that you were gonna get melon. That's whatever. Okay, now that that's done. I care less about your existence. Durian. Yes, okay, but what if this? And like, what even is this? All friends faint, summon one six six salmon of knowledge in battle once. I don't know what you do. Summon one six six giant eyes dog up front in battle once. Six six giant eyes dog. So you're gone. This is here. Goliath. Mongoose. Well, I don't want to buy the mongoose today anyway, because I just really want to know what that thing does. This guy is, by default, just the best thing to be happening. So, congratulations on being happening. 
could have that, but maybe I'll just do some quick buy sales. Hmm? Everyone gets a sandwich. Two free rolls because of freedom. I do want that eventually, but not now. Eventually. Activate buy ability. A. Or garlic. Seems like this might be the only defensive maneuver. No, I have melon on like everything. I've got a dollar still. One dollar. Mm, no. Oh. Uh, well, they're gonna put the guy up front. I kind of wish you weren't exactly right there. Are you just gonna summon another dude? No, you can't copy it. No, it's with the hell even. That was the creepy. What was the benefit of you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. The real loss is not being able to see what. Is that an actual myth? The giant eye dog? Anime dog? Is that like a thing in lore that I should be knowing about? Petal Toad. That's a cute name. I like the pigeon's concept, but I don't want what it is. Marmoset. We have stats. Theoretically, we should win at least twicely, if not thricely. Easty smartphones, vague bushes, suave players. Suave smartphones, suave players. I'm a player. I'm pretty suave. What exactly does suave mean? I don't actually know. I think it's having charisma in a smooth way. It's smooth charisma. I just thought suave was kind of a fun thing to say, just in reaction to things it was cool, so... I choose stats for now, and I realize that would have been stats either way, so it didn't necessarily matter which one I chose, but whatever. I'm living it up in the sweet dark. That's, is this the moon or the sun? Because it's already dark as hell outside. You assume this is the moon, and my god, it's humongous. A tennis ball? Who's getting toys over here? Just because you sell a frog? Well, I'm selling a level two frog, so get freaking jealous, son. Never mind, I'm doing this first. One free lasagna. I'd keep a lasagna. I'd squirrel a lasagna. I mean, I guess it's like a pair every two turns. Maybe I wouldn't squirrel lasagna, but I would put you guys together. And then maybe do that again. But for right now, just making one very strong guy. It's the guy... No, you're getting... I thought he was giving it to someone behind him. He's selfish, I didn't realize. I thought he was a friend, a true bro, a charismatic leader, but in fact he is a selfish boy who could only kill like one dude or whatever. The Sphinx is unfair and the gladiator ring, that's like too many things happening. I can't replace you, so I wait on this, even additional turn, which feels like a long wait, I will admit. I don't know what I'm trying to buy right now, but it's pretty limited in terms of what it could possibly be. Because if I'm buying you, then I'm not even going to do this in forever. I guess I'll just do that then. Faint. Break tier 4. Lower. That's not gonna do nothing. It's gonna do something. No, it's gonna do nothing. This guy, Golden Beetle, gain plus 1 gold. Triple if attack is at least 10. Okay, well that seems like a lot of effort. Triple? That makes it seem like a lot, but triple is just three gold. So if I spend all of the money in the world or time and stats to get this guy to tier 10, to 10 attack, he's going to give me three gold back. Like, that's like hella extremely weak. We're just going to make one large toad. He's an investment in the future. He's, he's, hanging, he's got his little bowler hat on. He's definitely got some business plans going on. Suck. Sucks to suck. Ah. He's cheating. He's got a secondary animal on top of that first animal. Secondary animals, unfair. Chimeras do not count, that's part of their same body, even if they've got different brains. One lasagna? To whom? Oh, you mean no one on my entirely sellable team wants that? That's crazy. Together. Squirrel. I don't actually care for this. But should I care for it? That's the question. I guess I guess I'm going to squirrel because you're present. More lasagna is fine, and I will sell this chinchilla for probably mostly anything. What if I... I forgot about that. Just had like two of these things. That'd be good for me, just having two active squirrels. His stats are technically better than all of these people, so... When you think about it that way. When you think about pure livability, he's got some livability. Y'all stink, who gave you tools? Ah, uh, that was my one killer. Ah! Win. Surprising too. I guess they were four squatted. Or were they? If future shop pets from the next tier permanent two health. Yeah, that's totally fine. Like, I'd buy you for like a second, so let's just go ahead. Commit to the actions, we say. You're now healthy, and this is a stoat. And what if I sold you immediately? 
Hey, it's the thing. Does that count as buying? I don't think so. Unfortunate. You can have a garlic. Man, I haven't seen a swan in literally a millennium. I didn't even knew that you existed anymore, honestly. It's too late now, but I would have done it. Trust me. Trust me. I would have done it. A marmoset, you say? I am legally obligated. Strong guys in front. Protect your little brothers. One day he will be a part of you, but right now, protect him. It's good. No, it's horrible. No, it's fine. It's totally garlic is the way. Protective tools. And now it comes back twice. <laughs> Freaking nailed it. Money guarantee. Now you're leveled. So now it's going to come back twice, twice as hard. That's like four times. It's going to come back four times. Be similar toy, but its level can be max. But its level can max be kept at two. It didn't change, did it? You just you not change anything? Max at three. Yeah, I don't have those things. Though. One random frozen pet. This is okay. I'm gonna keep this purely because nothing else in life is even giving me a chance to get stats right now. So you can know well money. I'll invest in the future. Everyone besides the polar bear looked like I got bathed in gold just then. You're doing the treasure chest. I just think I did that once and the payoff was lame. To be fair, it was a level one. But still. Turned out kind of lame for that team. Am I validated? Perhaps. Is it easy to validate myself if I just believe that I was doing it right in the first place? Mm, you could also say that, yes. I am I won't commit to you, Golden Beetle. You're way fancier than- I should have froze someone just because like this guy's doing nothing now for like no reason. Uh, okay, the problem with the whole toy concept is that all of the units suck. So I'm just going to give everyone a sandwich and do this. And then, you know what? Uh, fish? No, this guy? Sure. Okay, that guy, plus four, plus four. It's going to go insane. I'm not going to buy it, though. I'm not going to keep it frozen. This polar bear, that guy's also doing the treasure chest. Is that the secret? Did I pass a guy who was doing treasure chest? I'm pretty sure I did. Look, he's got so much stats now. You are just continuing to be the best. Hey, this guy. I've been waiting on that. Use one witch door that breaks after six turns. Oh, that's good. That's good. I was like, the treasure chest is going to take forever at this point. But that's actually quite fine. I just want someone else's thing instead, though. I don't... Oh, I thought this was repetitive. This is actually kind of fine, especially if he was leveled, but we're already to the point where I think- I don't know if that stops working when you get to tier 6, but I actually don't want this. Instead. This guy just has decent stats. Let's do this first. Give me a toy that's nice and jammy. Break, give everyone food. This one's good too. Start a battle though. This one lasts forever, so you're gone now. And this is here because I just- he was the only guy around. I had to commit, okay? I had to commit. I, I've immediately forgotten what your toys are, but that's fine. Mm, have you tried not doing the dog? Congratulations, that one guy. Uh, you're gonna keep keep on keeping on. I should have sold my stinky dog. My stinky magic dog. It's fine. He's got five health. That's like enough to do something. Put on my pied up friends, too. I was thinking I, I froze the mongoose entirely so I could stack it with this newfound health, forgetting the fact that that just kind of is the same health as him now. I could switch you with the fountain. Maybe. Well, actually, I guess I saved this until proven otherwise. No, one more turn of that. So then who wants a pie? Pie flavored? Yes. I don't want him. I would like him to be something else. I will take this as something else for a turn and then leave it. And then actually something else again. Treasure chest. He's a tier three. He has no stats. He does nothing. All valid points and arguments. I'm just going to hold him for five milliseconds until he stumbles upon being level three. And then I could sell him. And only then can I actually join the fight. Okay. The main problem is that there's so little scaling this week. That the Goliath, I realize, is like technically not a scaler, right? 
because he doesn't do it to himself. He's just capable of great scaling. He's not innately a great scaler. Who's one? Level one. Ah. Okay. Just hang on there for a second. Here he is. See, but you really, I have to purchase him. I like what this is doing, but. Did, did the witch toy get better with time or is it the same? Okay, it's the same, it just sucks. <laughs> so instead, uh, take this and then get rid of that, even though he has some of the stats. That was a whole waste of time. If the backmost friend plus one plus one, end of turn. For 30 turns? Jesus Christ. Stock one free holy water, transforms one bad dog to a good dog, or give plus eight health. I don't know what a good dog is. We have uh, five seconds to find one. Give me the dog of truth. You could level that. Where did that come from? I'm seeing units I've never even seen before and they're not even tier sixes. So this turn, I have to find a dog. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that unless I already had one. Probably gonna be an issue, but whatevs. Yeah, strong squirrel. And the squirrel, while being a supportive unit, actually has literally no reason why it has to be in the back. I just keep doing that anyway because it feels like you should be back there, but he's actually like one of my best guys up in Adams. So that's not going to work, and you can have this. Knowing that, uh, maybe I should do a different one, but I don't think King Toys are very good. Mongoose, Foo Dog, Marmoset, uh, uh, Flying Squirrel, standing for the truth, but I can't help but notice that you don't have the one thing I was looking for. We're not stacking the Goliath. Honestly, I forgot about Polar Bear Place. Have I been freezing things? I don't recall. Well, probably not for at least like one turn, but what? Oh no. The worst scenario. The worst case scenario. Everyone's teams just look like hot garbage, but if everyone's teams are hot garbage, no one's is. That's what's supposed to happen. Oh no, it came back and also I have the, you know what? Eight health. Two turns, eight health. It's better than a lasagna in terms of just pure number of stats. It's from a pet to another pet from a higher tier. You can let- wait, what's- you're not- there's no point in you leveling. End turn, gave plus four full sword attack. Oh, it does self. He, I thought he just had the potential. I didn't realize- and this guy? S since when does things exist? I'd like you to be anything that's not that. Okay. I lied a little bit when I said anything. <laughs> You could also be something that's, again, not this, but we'll try again in a second. So this is a map. And that's just gonna keep- I just want that to break once and then- no, you know what? No. I refuse. Let's just do this. This is all that matters, and then I don't want to keep you, and then let's- we could- we could drag in, and you're like, but who yells you selling? And I'm like, bah. I guess the polar bear. He's got stats. He killed my weakest guy. What the hell? Way to aim for the mercy. Oh, poops, man. The enemy's getting strong. They had dudes who give stats. Oh, you I forgot about that. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, there's no reason for that to- I'm just not getting toys that strong. So I guess it's just all about you, king. And then this, and then, and then. I want- this guy to turn actually, so you can go and and I'm just gonna do this now. It, where we've pivoted, the new plan is just uh, focus entirely on the existence of this one Goliath. And you could have multiple, and that still counts, right? Just multiple Goliath. Repeat his ability at level one. That sounds awesome. But we get one free roll. This is three dollars. This is six dollars. That was one dollar. Okay, yeah, whatever. <laughs> High abilities. No, and I forgot to be looking for tier ones. It's been a hot second since I've done dragons, but it's chill. This Goliath is probably behind most people, but he's got a lemon. Oh, he had a melon though. My arch nemesis. And he's level two. Damn that guy. So there's cows in the game? I've just, it's crazy. There's too many animals. How many animals are in this thing? Okay, now he's almost 50-50. 
For some reason, my brain said that 30 was the max. So I was like, whoa, we're like way ahead of the game. And that worked twice and that was really cool. And I don't want this anymore. I actually like this more. Problem being that I do need guys with stats. Yeah, are we gonna just try our hardest to make this be the guys with stats? Ah, skip it. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Thank God that does not force you to do it because I honestly forgot. I think I used to, didn't it? When they originally brought toys out, you were like legally obligated to use them. I'll keep you for- Ah, oh, the magic thing. I was going to use that. I'll, I'll do some of these things. And also this. Cornucopia. I will also do that. So many goodnesses. So many goodnesses in the shop right now. Now, all I need is for my Goliath to kill all of the enemy. That was kind of close. It, it really has to be all of the enemy. <laughs> like, uh, when I say all, I mean, like, legally speaking, every single guy. Is that too much to ask this dude who's just barely above? You had a lemon. I gave you lemon prowess. Ungrateful, I would say. But that was eight wins, which is not too shabby. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!